What's up guys? First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than The Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm going to show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick Minute. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this, yet this one is bulky, ugly and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards, it's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45 day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets, the website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob, use code Jacob for 10% off, and I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use, guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm gonna be carrying something like this round anymore. Cheers guys, and enjoy the video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. The pleasure is all mine. I'm your host, Jacob McDonald, and today we're gonna look at a Ravens player, if you didn't know. Uh, not Jackson, although when Jackson does come up on the list, I will be grabbing that jersey and putting it on. But for now, we're going to focus on a player for the same team, the Ravens, but on the defensive side of the ball. He's a cornerback. His name's Marlon Humphreys. And uh, if nothing else, we've certainly seen him on this list, giving his you know interviews, giving his uh, opinions on other players in the league. And there is one thing that I noticed about Marlon Humphreys, and that was that he looked, in a word, aerodynamic. Which, in you know any sport, let alone the game of football, is going to be an advantage. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm thinking it's the guy. Anyway, all of that and more will be revealed. It is time we roll the intro and crack into it. So when I think about players on the field, when I think about, you know, positions, I suppose, teams, teams, yes, great. But I, I suppose the position on the field is what is really going to separate a, a, a player from another. And, you know, you've got the obvious separation between offense and defense. But when we talk about defense, and when we talk about the position that can go under the radar, it can go unappreciated at times, if you're that good at what you are meant to do on the field. If you're that good at being a cornerback, your wide receiver will most likely not get targeted. So it's a hard one. It's a hard one when you're a cornerback. You know, if you don't get targeted at all, no one's really going to appreciate, no fans are really going to appreciate what you do on the field. But the people that do appreciate it are obviously your fellow colleagues, your fellow teammates, and definitely those wide receivers on the opposite side of the ball that, you know, get shut down time after time. So it's an interesting position at the very least. Those are my thoughts. Do with them what you will. Let me know down in the comment section below if, you, if you've if you got any additional thoughts on that. And uh, let's get into the video. I played Marlin in 7-on-7 seven seven in high school. He probably doesn't remember that. But I actually had a buddy that caught a couple touchdowns on him over in Hoover High at Hoover High Stadium. So, yeah, he's gotten better since. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> Hoover High. Yeah. Well, I remember over Hoover High. Came into the saloon and uh, went out to the old barn and uh, caught a few catches. Really doesn't hit the same without the moustache, but I did my best. It, that, that was that was actually fucking classic. Let's listen to that again. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gardner Minshew in the last couple of days has been traded from the Jags to the Eagles, and. Uh, Looks like he's going to have to take his RV uh, from Jacksonville all the way to Philadelphia. It's not that far, really, is it? It's just up the coast, which makes sense. I went in 7-on-7 seven seven in high school. He probably doesn't remember that, but I actually had a buddy that caught a couple touchdowns on him over in Hoover High 
at Hoover High Stadium. So yeah, he's gotten better since. <laughs> you gotta love, you gotta love a bit of Gardner Minshew. Marley, he's just so physical. He's like a middle linebacker. I mean, he's lining up at the nickel. He's lining up outside that corner too. So in every way that they use him, he's special in every role. Burrow was hit and dropped again, this time by Marlon Humphrey. He's more physical than anybody on the field. Tell you what, he's marking a few names, isn't he? Cool. He's Look at this. Like a middle linebacker. I mean, he's lining up at the nickel. He's lining up outside that corner too. So Tyreek Hill, Cole they Beasley. Him, he's special in every role. Burrow was hit and dropped again, this time by Joe Burrow. Humphrey. He's more physical than anybody on the field. And you got to be careful. Like he'll punch the ball out. All week, that's all they were saying. My coach was saying, Steph, if you fumble, I'm going to get on your ass. When the ball comes Marlon Humphrey's way, it's an opportunity for Humphrey to... Oh, no. Four points of contact, guys, if not five. His day. I knew going into that game, I had to cover that ball up every single time. But I tell you what, if someone is coming in there with the one mission of being like Iron Mike Tyson, building that fist and going straight for the ball, you're going to do pretty damn well to keep hold of it. Wouldn't mind seeing his stats. I wouldn't mind seeing how many passes deflected for one, but also forced fumbles he's had. And with that in mind, let's have a look at his stats. Let's do it. Marlon Humphrey, born July 8th, 1996, is officially 25 years of age at the moment. He's six foot even and weighing in at around about 200 pounds. Went in the first round of the 2017 draft to the Ravens. He's been there ever since. Has he signed a second deal? He has. He has indeed. <laughs> he secured his bag, all right. On October 1st, 2020, he signed a five-year, $97.5 million contract extension with $66 million guaranteed. In week five against the Bengals, he recorded his first career full sack on Joe Burrow during the 27-3 win, and we saw that. He also forced a fumble on wide receiver Mike Thomas, which was returned for a 53-yard touchdown by a teammate. Humphrey was placed on the reserve COVID-19 list by the team on November 2nd and was reactivated on November 11th. And in total, he missed one game through COVID, but played 15. 80 combined tackles, 68 solo, 12 assisted, two and a half sacks, his first two and a half of his career, 11 passes deflected, one interception for eight yards, and eight forced fumbles. Eight forced fumbles. And that, my friends, as we see by the blue box here, led the league. Yeah, you want to hold on to that ball, mate. He's a ball hawk. <laughs> He's a ball hawk. And, and to be honest, I'd, I'd be running the other way. He has an elite ability to get the ball off people. Exactly. And why is that? Does he have massive arms or massive hands or both? Fuck it. He's got elite speed, I'll tell you that much, and elite agility. 4-4-1 for the 40-yard dash, 6-7-5 for the three-cone drill. He's got a hand size of nothing crazy, and he's got an arm length of slightly above average. So I'm not going to say that anything from his physical stature really jumps out at me as, uh, as far as a, a real Iron Mike Tyson out there on the football field, but uh, let's continue. Whether it's pass breakups, whether it's interceptions. Picked off on the play by Marlon Humphrey. Whether it's strips, whether it's fumble recoveries. He's oh, well that's how he does it. <laughs> Let's watch that again. Picked off on the play by Marlon Humphrey. Whether it's strips, whether it's fumble. Hey, come here you. Do you really think this play's over, mate? Do you really think I'm just going to tackle you to the ground? No, mate, not on Humphrey's watch. Fumble recoveries. Oh, mate. Tell you what, that did knock someone out. That did knock someone clean out. No wonder it knocked the ball clean out. I mean, there's some real velocity to that strike. He knew what he was doing. And it worked. Always disrupting the ball. He did it in college, and he's found a way to perfect that in the NFL, and I think that that's what's turned him into such a prolific corner in this league. Tremendous competitor. He's one of those guys that just shows up. You can tell that he's locked in. And who jarred it loose? Marlon Humphrey. Ed Reed would be proud. I watch his games weekly. He has it down to a science. You know how you drive down a road? You're just driving. You're not really thinking about where you're going because you already know where you're going. You drove a thousand times already. That's how he is whenever he plays, I feel like. He doesn't even think about it. He just does it. Whenever you step on the field, punch the ball out. Is it like, you on autopilot or is this? There he is. What did I say? Aerodynamic, right? Something you think about doing. Um, it's kind of autopilot. I actually thought he was a running back. My bad. My favorite play in his last season, got caught a pass on me, kind of swung around him, 
got a little punch out, and then Patrick Queen was able to scoop in the score. What? Oh, what? Who thinks about doing that? I mean, the wide receiver almost broke his tackle, so not only are you just holding on for the tackle, but not only that, you can somehow twist and turn your body in such a way that you can get that ball punched out? We have to look at that again. Punch the punch. It comes right there. Oh! Look at him, he literally, that's all he wants. <laughs> well, he wanted it there, but he certainly wants it here. He's, he's, he's made the tackle. The contact is initiated. On to the next job, which is trying to get that fucking ball. <laughs> the biggest thing, I'm just trying to finish a play. Oh, I would hate to play against that guy, man. Oh, all right. So how many was it? 11 passes deflected and 8 forced fumbles. That equates to 19 incredible plays in the NFL. I know that a lot of guys around the league respect him. A lot of guys understand how elite he is as a football player and how disruptive he is. I know that he'll continue to show every year while he's one All of the right. best corners in the league. That would have felt good. Comfort, comfort behind with that right arm. The ball needs to go wherever he's not. Swings it in and punches it out. Play from whistle to whistle. That's really the biggest thing. Tell you what, mate. You could uh, you could have a career in in YouTube boxing if the NFL thing doesn't work out. In fact, you know what? Before we finish this video, I'm going to look up Marlon Humphrey's nickname. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, it's to do with boxing, if you didn't know. And uh, apparently we had quite the puncher of the ball back in the day by the name of Charles Peanut Tillman. There he is there. The NFL's original boxer was Charles Peanut Tillman. His heir is Marlon Humphrey. Given the nickname Peanut by his aunt because he was shaped like a peanut as a baby, Tillman grew to be a six foot two cornerback who gave birth to the Peanut Punch. Tillman logged a staggering 44 forced fumbles over his 12 seasons with the Chicago Bears and one with the Carolina Panthers. He has the same amount of forced fumbles as two of the best defenders currently in the game, J.J. Watt and Khalil Mack. And if we can see a punch, that'd be great. Let's have a look at this. You thought Marlon Humphreys was good. Second down and four. Four and Robinson. And Robinson fumbles. Now watch the right hand of Tillman. <laughs> All I saw was a shoulder charge. Didn't, didn't quite see the old right hand. Uh, behind the back there. What's next? Is he going to come? No. He goes back, and the pass caught, not getting the first down and a fumble, and the Bears have it. Charles Tillman again. Hey, he took the ball away from a... Another slant, another... Oh, that's a... I tell you what, that's a... Oh, wow! Tell you what, guys like this, they don't just make tackles. They make exchanges. They make collisions. Now Tillman sees another puncher coming up in the ranks. Uh, in Humphrey, and he's a fan. Humphrey has now forced four fumbles in six games. Actually, all right, so we've seen enough. Well, we could actually call him Marlon Peanut Humphrey. Tillman said Humphrey is the closest he's seen to himself. Guys will go for the ball, go for the tackle, but he looks like a boxer out there. It's a calculated punch. You know where to strike. I'll tell you what, guys, that is a cool story, and I'm glad I looked it up. Tillman logged 44 forced fumbles over 12 seasons, and as we go back to Marlon's stats... He has 11 in four seasons, but prior to this season, he'd only had three. So he's got, a, he's got a fair bit of work to do to get up to Peanut's record, but he's given it a damn good shot. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another video. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. Uh, head down into the description box below and check out our exclusive video sponsor for the day. And I'll see you back here shortly to continue the list with number 37, Darius Leonard a linebacker for the Colts. Peace out guys and have a great day.